YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Majority of the off-plan apartments worth less than purchase price data shows. So this is coming from ABC News down in Australia, always broadcasting crap. So here it is, guys. Builders are in a rut right now, and we've been covering this on this channel for years, in, in, especially in the Sydney and Melbourne area, where they had this huge overbuilding, like over, just, just an over abundance of cranes everywhere there's an oversupply of housing on the markets one in two units or one in three are empty in the condo sector one in two i heard are empty all foreign investing owned shaky confidence in capital city apartment market is hitting off the plan buyers hard with a significant rise in the number of newly constructed units now worth less than the completion than the price they were originally purchased for. Remember when I talked about being underwater, guys? How a lot of people end up being underwater, especially if they buy at the top or at the wrong time? Well, it's like trying to catch a falling knife. It's a saying that's been passed around for years now. It's like trying to catch a falling knife. And timing the market takes a lot of strategy. You need a lot of um, info data analysis. You need... Um, historical data and you need to know what the government has up their sleeve to keep propping this housing bubble or condo bubble for us not to see a crash 7.30 7 7.30 7 can reveal that 60 percent of the off-plan apartments in sydney are and 59.2 percent in melbourne were valued lower than their contract price at the time of settlement okay yeah the latest figures from the property data provider CoreLogic for the month of August shows that nearly a third of the off-the-plan buyers in Sydney were moving into new apartments worth at least 10% less than the price they purchased them for. So basically, they're underwater and they're getting a haircut. So a 10% haircut right there off the top. So you're going to have to, if you have to, if you get into one of these places and the place doesn't crack apart and fall apart like the Opal Tower does and you could hold on to it for 20 years, you might regain that loss that you've ac ac accumulated, right? And it depends on the integrity of the structure nowadays. Can that structure last the life of your mortgage, right? Most of the time it doesn't. Just two years ago, less than 16% of newly constructed New South Wales units were valued below contract price after they were completed. In Queensland, 43.1% of units were worth less in the settlement than they were purchased for. And in Western Australia, it was 22.5% for apartments. So, yeah. Oh, here's our friend Opal Tower. Remember this? I've been covering this for a good while. Cor CoreLogic's head of research, Tim Lawless, said when many of these newly completed apartments were originally sold off the plan back in 2016 and 17, the market was very different. So again, uh, stress testing, uh, capital restriction flows from China, no Chinese coming in and buying, not because they don't want to, because they will, it's because the social credit scores and the basically a new system in place that stops people from moving their wealth offshore. Mr. Lawless, there has been an oversupply in high-rise sector with supply substantially outpacing demand. Thank you. Massive oversupply. But he said concerns around construction quality, uh, remediation costs, and flammable cladding had had a compounding effect. So they're going to have to... Oh my God, they're going to have to improve the quality of these structures. And they're paying a million dollars for a two-bedroom condo. Yeah, I think it's, you, should, you should get condo. Your condo should have like gold leafing everywhere and uh, and made with like the best. Uh, um, uh, the stone in your kitchen tile should be from the mountains of Golgavia and uh, uh, washed with angel tears from the from the heavens of Dalamundo. You know, if you're buying a place like that, you know what I'm saying. Not only have residents such as retirees Mary Peters watch their building. Uh, garner major media coverage after structural defects that have still not been able to return to their homes so there's a lot of structural defects in a lot of these condos and I've, i covered this one too the mascot tower i covered this we talked about this it's it's in limbo look at that mascot tower is still in limbo so and the other one with the opal towers it was christmas eve they they got they got everybody in christmas eve had to get out of their apartments because the building is going to fall apart and people are paying what six hundred thousand dollars for a one bedroom and seven fifty for two, for a little space in the sky? Come on, people, things need to get back to reality. And housing is only worth what wages allow it to pay for. Four point five your annual in four point five times your annual income should be the average going rate for the average home, not one point five million dollars. 
or $600,000 for a condo. A condo, realistically, in this place, a one-bedroom, okay, should realistically be going for like two twenty-five, and then the two-bedroom, three fifty tops, and that's in a, in a, the heart of the heart of the city. That's what it should be going for because only because wages depict the pricing. Then if you want something higher end, then you could go um, eight to ten times the average wage earners average wage if you make more and then you can get something in the higher scale but for that i'm sorry guys i'm that doesn't fly with me let me know what you guys think comment below people underwater what is happening eh, i've been saying australia is going to be the first to go followed by new zealand then the united kingdom then canada and then western united states thanks for watching and don't forget to join me tonight on trends in the housing market